the infinite owl, the eternal owl, the dumbest of owls. I'm so glad I don't have to wear that costume. <laughs> I still got the mask. This is here. so much more comfortable. <laughs> this is uh, my mascot. <laughs> HP Bear Killer. Welcome, one and all, to Adventures in Yulia. We continue with Chapter 2, where the party has just returned to reality from fighting the bear. Bear killer. It is okay. not bear killer. And last thing was mentioned is, is that... Is it Bear Luke Hard? No. The last thing that was meant... Jesus, I have so many notes! I'm going to have to do so much cleaning up later. The last thing that was mentioned is Istinir is in medical care. And not looking amazing. Uh, where, where is he? Getting medical attention? Uh, I can't end with this mention to you, so I'll just say it. it's in the medical facilities of the tower. All right, and we're in the tower. Excellent. Yes. Mm. I assume we're gonna head right up there, right? Well, I, I don't want to rush in there if it's like a family-only kind of thing. Are you sure you don't want to kick down the door? Kick down the door of a hospital room. Once upon a time, that was your only form of entrance. When I was a paladin, because locks cannot impede paladin justice. I can't even remember that paladin's name, so I'm just going to call him paladin justice. Plus, well, knocking in a hospital, we might scare some people, so that's. I don't think it's a. Hello, into the traumatized people! Prepare to be scared shitless. Knock, knock. Who's, who's there? Justice! <laughs> Paladin Justice! Got all the plot cards. Oh no. Also the chase cards. What do those ones do? Also social, just, social combat cards. Uh, chase cards are to better represent chase scenes, where base movement speed tends to be a very boring way to define it. Oh, okay. Because it becomes a case of who fails their constitution roll first. So, do you, oh, hmm. if you want to head straight down, you can. It is, while it is a restricted part of the tower, it's sort of restricted to people outside the tower. Okay. And you people, you're sort of recognised as heroes of the, well, the town, technically, at this point. Well, I'll follow Luna, it's her dad. Okay! <laughs> the party stands still! I thought we were going Yeah, no, that literally, oh, no. they're holding on, the party holds on! Where are we holding on My to? My toes decided to try and kill me, it's fine. Your toe? Toast. Oh! That makes oh. less sense, actually. You know, you should yeah, start Why getting... are you confused about a toe trying to kill someone, James? <laughs> Over how is that? Ah! It hurts yeah, sometimes when I stand you. up. What were you thinking, James? He's seen my face. Now I have no. Now I can't escape. Like, he's going to kill me. Yes, for reference to those who don't know, I was in a minor surgery yesterday 
to fix a problem with my toe, and now I hobble everywhere. At least this means you can get a, a kick-ass pimp stick. And I get to work from home the next couple of days. Ooh, fun it's fact. It's the weekend. Uh, that Something... includes, that was today and Monday. <laughs> and maybe Tuesday, depending on what they say when they redress it. Something that occurred while in between sessions, I found a sword king in my house. Really? Yes. The sword king? Yes. Sword king. I'm still disappointed that you didn't get to show off the thing. Yeah, oh well. Uh, are we showing off swords? Because I've got two. Oh, let's see them. Are they any good? He has uh, Benahime and uh, Hiraku. Is that Wait, right? Why, why can't you show one of them? I don't have any swords. Why do you think, Puppet? That's against Twitch's terms of service. Oh. Sword? What? That's a sword. Wait, what hand showing off that's going to get James banned? My sword. Yeah, stop showing off that. The innuendo esque version. Made of plastic, doesn't count. Hurin Maru, that's the one. Hurin and Maru. the other one's Benahime. The other one. Yeah. Benahime's way cool. Much heavier as well, Jesus. This yeah, you could probably do some real damage from it. Anyway, do we actually have anything we want to go talk to Luna's dad about? I don't know, he's your dad and he's dying. <laughs> and also General has health? lived in Pat. the flip side for quite a while at this point. How are you doing? To him a bit. <laughs> are you okay? But where on the map is this? <laughs> Ah, I see. <laughs> I'm glad it's so clearly pointed out to us where Who Luna's dead dad is. <laughs> why no, why sure am I asking? It was Otley. I'm fairly certain I know. <laughs> Did you just move Otley Otley's next such a to trickster. the text? <laughs> he, he could fly at times. Anyway, yes. let's head up to the hospital room. You arrive at the tower's private... <laughs> Medical ward. <laughs> I like how that's in purple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you think that's purple? I mean, sort of magenta -y purple. Yeah, it's not pink. It's a shade of purple. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm going what? to burst in and say, "Be gone, you heathens! A real healers here." Why are the twins dying? What? Where does this Which thing? Twins? I feel we've got enough topic. <laughs> Who is writing these? Anyway, uh, you arrive and some of the medical professionals look at you like that's a heavily armed group of strangers that's just walked into my medical ward. Can I help? We're looking for my father, is this one I hear? Why cats? <coughs> Death likes cats. They're comforting. I thought you'd read Terry Pratchett. Of course, I've read every Terry Pratchett, okay? Wait, you is... know why cats? Is this, is this in character? Is Terry Pratchett <laughs> Terry canon Pratchett. in this world? Well, if he is, he's not, uh, he's not Tez Mary, I'll tell you that. Uh, oh, uh, yes, of course, he's, uh, do you know his current state? The ex no. Accident. Right. Dying. Dead. He's been exposed to some sort of unknown mutagen, and it's caused some changes to his body. Not externally, but internally. How bad is this? Uh, we've stabilized him for now, but until we can get a more powerful healer, he's not going to be going anywhere. Unfortunately, both our most powerful healers are dead or evil. 
That's unfortunate. I'll give it a go. No, no. I can do a restoration. Yes, that's what we've been doing. It 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 keeps things problems at bay, but we have to do it. Uh, we'll probably have to do it daily or every other day at this rate. Actually, I can do a lesser restoration. <laughs> Um, right, so we're going to need to find a more powerful healer. Yes, unfortunately... Wait, uh, so what is the cause of his malady, do you think? If I were to wager a guess, I'd say exposure to powerful magic over a long period of time. Hmm, he I'm going to pull out the heart. Um... <laughs> what is I'm going to that? see if I can repel the magic from his body with it. Um, I don't think that's a good idea to bring that out here. Stop showing that off to everybody you meet! I'm going Is to Meteor waggle the heart near him. You will lose that! <laughs> Is Meteor in here with us? Because he uh, would be if he could be. Not easily. He could fit inside the tower, but getting into the rooms is a problem. Okay, because I was gonna have a grapple up for I mean, do you really want the eagle who cannot speak celestial to grab this thing? Not the heart, you! Oh, I'd smack Meteor with the heart if he attacked me. It's giving you a hug, it's not attacking. It's like, it's just like holding a grenade. <laughs> it's worse right, than a grenade. Here. Nobody comes out of that happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's way worse than a grenade. Like, if that thing goes off at full power, this town is gone. <laughs> we will be down a bird, and I okay, won't have fine. An I'll put it back in the bag of holding. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I'm surprised the thing doesn't blow up in the bag of holding. <laughs> it's a bit weird that it doesn't interact with extra dimensional space. It doesn't care. Oddly enough, given whose heart it is meant to be, I would not be surprised that it's quite comfortable being in strange dimensional places. Yeah. But, uh, I digress. Come this um, way, says the now very confused medical professional. And takes you over to a bed. Where, looking quite grumpy at his current situation, is this dinner? Luna waves. Oh! <clears throat> oh! I'm sorry I can't stand up to s greet you properly again, but uh, they won't let me stand up. <clears throat> That's because you're sick. <laughs> I said your organs were all turned around. Hmm. Yeah, I think I uh, adapted to that other place and now my body can't quite handle this one. <clears throat> yeah, we'll need to see if we can find a way to fix that. Have you considered a phylactery and then we kill you? It would fix the problem. Right. It was just a suggestion. Stop talking. You would have to kill a child, though. She's not Beth? a necromancer, no. is she? <laughs> is she? He better not be! <laughs> I think Farahi's a necromancer. Can you fix that? I know no necromancy. I'm just going to quickly consult with Otterly. Yeah, no necromancy. <laughs> and she talks to the otter? That's not... that's a good sign. Otters are no <coughs> for oh, being oh, necromantic. <laughs> he is genuinely struggling at times with breathing. It's possible that we should just keep questions to the point. Man clearly hasn't met this hour. Never mind me. There's more important things afoot, and I imagine you all need uh, answers. Maybe I can help. I don't know.
How'd it go? Like, you went back there. What happened? We fought the bear. Oh, poor thing. And Zenra. Less poor thing. And they died. Oh. And then they came back. Oh. Twice! Well, that just sounds anticlimactic. Seems something is keeping them alive, which is a bit of a problem. I think, yes, every time that we injured them, the uh, artifact seemed to... Well, actually, I don't know how Senra came back, but... Um, every time we injured the bear, the artifact seemed to create more ooze to replace the damaged flesh. Is it accelerating? <clears throat> so you need a way to stop that happening I think ideally we need to yank the artifact out of the bear ah good luck I was thinking some kind of mechanical claw do you own a crane I'm a retired druid. I don't know about druids. Do they use cranes? Why would we? I don't know. Maybe you make cranes from trees. <coughs> ah. A I don't bit of think that purple we can do that. goop pops out of his mouth when he coughs that time. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Ew. Yeah. <sighs> you know, we seem to be doing a lot of things, but not getting any closer to finding out what's causing all of this to happen and how to stop it. Well, it sounds like, judging by the insides of my lungs, maybe it's some sort of infection. Hmm. But what is the vector of this infection? We know that the artifacts seem to be creating this flesh on the bear, but how is it spreading to everything else? I don't know. Like, I've got it, but the guys have been in there a lot longer than me, and she seems fine. The who? Uh, I mentioned her briefly. She's someone who helped me when I first got trapped in the other dimension. Do we know who she is? Not a clue. Uh she was very cagey, especially when I made friends with the bear. Hmm. No, no, we no. never, we never like properly learned who the guide was, right? In character. No. We okay. have never met the guide. <laughs> I have. I think I've not yet. You haven't. Wait. Oh. That merger has not occurred yet. That will be happening later. <laughs> this session. Oh. We left the that hasn't. Oh, that. Oh, it, that has. Time shenanigans. Yet. Okay. Yep. Fuck. Time fuckery. Well, I well, will continue to lines. not know what happened that day. <laughs> but yeah, if she's not affected, then it doesn't seem to be airborne. Or at least not widespread. I would bet it's the actual artifact. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, so what's in the bear? The artifact. I, I right, kind of just think so like a piece of We do need to get the artifact away from the bear and suppress it. Mm, but may maybe if you can suppress the infection, it might suppress the healing? <clears throat> yeah. And then we can kill that bear. Oh, I wish you didn't have to. It, I mean, without the purple flesh, it's going to have a lot of holes in it, so it's already dead. 
you can resurrect the bear if you want. It's your 10,000 GP. Reincarnate's cheaper than that. Then I wouldn't have a bear. It's your 4,000 GP. Oh, that's a good point. Reincarnate doesn't necessarily bring you back as the same species. Look. I get it. You can't... Probably can't save it. I'm just... It's a Also, contractually, too. we're required to kill it. Oh. So we were just supposed to investigate? No, we reported back that it had gotten more complicated and they said we should uh, kill the bear, as per orders from... Complications in a contract aren't typically uh, uncommon. <laughs> hmm. I don't necessarily think killing the bear will even solve the problem, though. It's not even the source of the problem. I mean, the artifact's in it. But it feels like the bear isn't the thing controlling the artifact, it's just holding it. Hmm. I mean, I would assume that Senra is controlling the artifact. Oh, she does seem sort of the uh, crazy overarching villain in all of this. But without the oh. bear, I don't think she can control the beasts. And without them, she can't send them to harass this world. Hmm. So how is she controlling the bear? Am I? Uh, I don't know. Is Senra a druid? She's technically a druid. Maybe she is just controlling the bear. Whatever it was controlling, okay, so we need I need something break to it, suppress druidic ability. Who put that face on the tower? <laughs> There's a face on the tower. There's a face on the tower. That's oh, that's Luna. A, that's a special. How do you turn off druidic ability? I'm not sure you can. I mean, actually, convince her to teach druidic to someone, or put metal armor on her. <laughs> Just ambush her with a suit of plate armor. <laughs> That, I mean, that might not be a bad idea. A voice in my head. <laughs> Chainmail shit. Bad Luna. <laughs> Encasing her in metal would... What does that do? Um, cut her off from nature? That is against the code. You are cut off. Yeah, you can't... So she can't commune with nature while she's in metal. You won't be able to cast spells. You can't do a number of things, actually. This goes for metal shields as well, if that's easier. Hmm. As in, just throw her a shield and trick her into catching it. Well, I assume she oh my god! It avoid it. It doesn't just inhibit her immediately. It inhibits her for twenty-four hours after. Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to okay. get a metal shield, make it look like a wooden shield, and just leave it on the ground somewhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or we need to work out up, how to make stopped. a spring-loaded uh, set of plate armor. <laughs> bear, bear spring loaded you shield. have to actually use it, not just pick it up. Like, out of character, I know there are spells for donning armor quickly. Yeah, but I'm um, <laughs> looking through my spell list. This shield's quite heavier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Otherwise, it's worth noting as... Well, Luna would know this. The rest of the party would not. A druid would have to cease to revere nature, change to a prohibited al alignment, as you said, teach druidic to a non-druid. As in the language? Yes. Yes. And even worse, uh, she'd obviously lose all droid abilities with that mode. Even the non-supernatural ones. Yeah, I feel so like so tricking so her into wearing armour is easier than getting her to teach you an entire language. Well, we it just get metal armour and cover it, it in It does level. leave her with some stuff if she um, still... Like, if she wears armour, she can still do some things. Uh, she'd still have her bond, for instance. If you were wearing armor, could you control Meteor? Um. Yes, because it's 
an extraordinary ability, aka it's just a bond with an animal companion. Armor That's... would stop me from spell casting. Um, I wouldn't be able to wild shape, but I'd still have my bond with Meteor. <sighs> it still might be friends, worth it because that might that. allow us to stop her regenerating herself or cloning herself or whatever she was doing. There's also, if we can somehow convince her to stop revering nature or take away her neutrality? Well, my question is, is she doesn't appear to be revering our version of nature anymore. It, there it, are some very messed up druids with very odd views of nature. Yeah, there. she seems to be revering the corrupted nature. I mean, she's she also a blight spread. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Voice in my head. That's the description of that out of character. Don't know if we'd know that in character. Yeah. Um, well, as I was reasoning out, uh, she does appear to be revering the corruption that she is spreading throughout nature rather than nature itself. So we'd need to convince her to stop revering the corruption and she'd lose control of it. I'm not sure how easy that will be. Okay, gang. Brainstorm time. We can also I'm going to pull down one of the hospital sort of curtains and just start drawing out a mind map on it. Oh my god. <laughs> of our ideas. I... This hospital food is terrible. It's a good thing I took this list when <laughs> They look sad. <laughs> <laughs> I saved him the jello cups. Right. Any actual so, plans? We have the beginnings of possible plans mainly based around cutting Senra's control off. But we we... aligned ourselves from concrete evidence. Or some sort of indication of where this power comes from. I'm mad that Josiah is insulting me even when he's not here. It's very rude. Why? He smells, so... What's he gonna do? It is around this point a messenger runs up yelling uh, Are they here? Is who here? The, the heroes! You know, the, the, the mercenaries! When did they start considering us heroes? When what have we even done? We city. did save the city. Yeah, we're heroes. You, you suppressed a large number of the invading beasts. Do we get a bonus for that? No. That was part within of the contract. Yes. You got a compa You got uh, enough reputation to acquire a uh, cohort. From it. Also, I offered him money. Yes. <laughs> Do any of you respond to this? Like, what? Those people on the head are over there. Well, yeah, we're cat. we're here. Oh, we're the heroes. <laughs> Yes. Look at our heroic um, stance. A message addressed in the Herald of this town says, "Something strange is happening in the gra in the uh, in the glade." Strange? Is it purple? Uh, like a, a portal opening, I think. We should probably get over there. Sounds bad. I hope it's not another invasion. I thought the glade was supposed to be safe. Ish. Over upon the point where there was loads of monsters in it. At least three figures were seen coming out of it. Well, it's oh, time it to kick their ass. I'm going to dive out the window. I couldn't have said it better myself. Why I'm also just... going to flight. Unless they turn out to be good, crowd. then. <laughs> Why don't you just jump out the window? Unless they're not bad, then it's okay. To the glade! Wait, she jumped out the yep. window? Are we yes. at the top of a tower? Yep. <laughs> she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I don't want to look out the window. I don't like how you I... see Ahi flying off. Oh, okay. Down as well, but... I'm currently astride the mop that I've been keeping in my. Uh, I'm going to take the stairs. Bag of holding for such an occasion. It doesn't fly. I fly, but you know, it's the appearance of the thing. That's the point. I should probably fly back and um, give you guys flight. No, I am doing that. Oh yeah, Def yeah. Seth is already. Thinking. You're kind Definitely of good with being close uh, to the ground. It's a free flight. Fucking commentary. <laughs> What's the deal with hospital food? You eventually rush towards the glade of unity and, and a encounter a couple of nearby guards who are keeping their distance and watch on it, who indicate where to go. As you arrive... Well, no, I'm going to wait for the rest of the party. And the party arrives. Can there I get perception checks as you approach the centre of the glade? Oh, sure. <laughs> My character page is so Crying far down. Crying gets distracted by a pretty flower. And then meets you distracted by flowers. Concept. Yeah, a pretty I'm too busy orcs? getting attacked by a bunch of pigeons that I speak to. <laughs> It's taking you too long to slumber each one individually. Yeah. There's just the odd occasional thud as a pigeon spirals out of the sky nearby. Those of you who get higher than a 20 will notice a dark figure lying on the ground. No. Oh. Okay. Mm. Seemingly injured and just barely stirring. Oh. At least it's not a mutant animal. I hope. The denizen begins to stumble up. Although it does not actually make it off the ground. That's your cue, owl. I suppose the shortest one of us all should try and help him up. Okay! He's quite small. Gonna... He's your size. How convenient! Yeah, off, off of the, the lovely denizen in a hand. Excellent. The events I described last session in the Halloween event occur properly in canon in the <laughs> normal timeline. And you are now fused with your denizen. Do I have the weird well, just thing? In your in chest, yes. Now. Okay. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute. That's a... Are, are you okay? Did your arm is broken? It is. <laughs> I thought I just feel. Can we oh, see anything in his chest? Uh, you can see a slightly glowing metal shard embedded into his armor. <laughs> the f what's in your armor? Oh, I, I think this was given to me. Yes, it was given to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do not question this. This is mine Given now. to you? <laughs> what is it? I, I kind of... I, I mean... Can you, like, focus on it to, like, fire a chest beam? Oh, that would be cool. It would. But I, it's ruined my armor. Hmm. Yeah. What's his armor, armor covered magical? with, like, emperor symbols? My armor? Yeah. Nah, it was just... It's hey, I'll cast mending on his armor try and mend it around the shard. Oh, wait, oh, is it plus oh, Your armor plus one. is now plus one. <laughs> oh, okay. How do I... How do I add At that? least for as long as the piece is in there. Just up the enhancement by one. Yeah. Uh, like a... Does anything else turn up? No. Whatever was here has long gone at this point. Like, you see no signs of the portal people Guards, reporting. did you see anything else come this way? Out from the portal. No, I wasn't here, but uh, some of the civilians reported that they saw two or three figures come out of it, and a couple ran off. Hmm. Well, that's probably not a great thing. Mm -hmm. 
how do like memories work when you fuse? Is it just like you get it straight away, or is it just? Like... Uh, it's like both instances of you have become one, all at one time. So half of you is confused about acquiring memories from the real Seth, and the other half is confused by having memories of the mirror Seth. Right. Okay. Your eyes are also oh. now glowing very purple. Oh, much like that's... our Farians were originally when he fused. That's the. Uh... That's Ahi and Luna. Those must have been the others. We're, we're here. Wait, what? The, the, the ones that came from the portal. I was with them. Like, there... I was I was with you guys, but I was with them as well. Were there any empty beds in the hospital ward? Yes. I think we might need to take them there. I feel fine. Just, Just hospitalize, Seth. <laughs> I, I mean, roll new character. I mean, I guess when I went through the portal, Our sergeant I was... is out of commission. Luna, you're in charge. I hereby uh, declare that he has hysteria. Well, no, no. Which I... way of fixing this are we using? Oh Leeches. my! Wait. He has proper Wait. hysteria, so his womb is flying about his body. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? We've been with you the entire time. Oh my we're, goodness. We're do, you not re- do you not remember what happened with the other guy I can't remember the okay. name of? Uh, I'm yeah, insulted that you don't remember my name, but then again, I haven't been here long. Alfarian Collier. Or what? Collier the Third. I'm not calling that's, him that. That's, that's disrespectful. My... Well, you're paying. Well, well, Whatever happened to Kali too? He got yeah. arrested. Look, Alfarian had the same thing. He started remembering other stuff. This must have just been my denizen. Wait, so our I denizens you didn't are have out. denizens. We, well, well, they just they just came for a portal, so I assume there was somewhere do we else. Have denizens now. Well, we all originally had them. Or at least you guys did. I had a mirror version of myself who seemed to be up to no good. Well, like, here, we, just look at me for a mirror. I didn't have a reflection before, did I? I checked this. Uh, he appears to have a reflection now. You move the mirror to, like, the rest of the party? Uh, no one else does. Well, Altharian does. Okay. Because his mirror, the people who have merged have a very tightly linked mirror copy, which is exactly what they're doing right now. And can't be split from it anymore. Okay, so you're saying that Luna and my denizens are out. I mean, I assume so. I went through the portal first. I didn't actually see them go through. I still the last thing I remember was this, this just now. You. So I have to assume that those were the two that came through? Yes. I was only with... Wait. Was... Hmm. Siegfried wasn't there, was he? Yeah, he, he just no, stopped of course. at one point. Yeah. I believe you literally just said Siegfried disappeared. Okay. He That's sort of fair. stayed with the uh, guide. Okay. I, yes. No, it was just it was just I and Luna. Siegfried was there at some point, but then he was gone? No, okay. Luna? This is very much a case of hysteria. It seems like an issue, but possibly not the most pressing issue. Well, yes, we need to find a healer and we need to figure out how to get this bear artifact. I think we can worry about the that's mirror a point. us. Have you been gallivanting around in the other realm in Atrigate? Did you find anything useful to us? Uh, we saw the guide! Yes! Uh, the, we Iskun were just... his friend? 
Yes, we were just speaking about it earlier. <laughs> I met the guide. What they gave me like? this thing in my chest. Why is it in my chest? Why don't I just hold it? I'm going to detect magic on that thing. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, about five seconds later, your sight returns to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't poke it. Right. I'm going to pull out the heart of the god. No, I <laughs> start oh. resonating. Okay. <laughs> Angrily. I've had, I'm going to put um, that back. I've Let's... had that thing near my chest once. Never again. So that, if, if it appears to be of similar power to the heart, uh, as in scope of power, it seems to be pretty opposed in terms of nature of power. Hey, thank you for the bits, Rebecca. Rebitka. Rebitka. Chief bit donator. Um, okay. I, I think we have an artifact. I guess so. Well, half. <laughs> Whoa! An actual oh, trigger! <laughs> but the icon is broken again! <laughs> it was I working don't get earlier! The That's rude. God's sake! I Thank you for the work. bits. Hmm. I see you. <laughs> the mind's timber. <laughs> right, so. Okay, so you have an artifact in your chest. It appears so. And it's not trying to kill me, so that's uh, an improvement. I also like to envision it as a giant target as well. Because <laughs> that's really? what Sandra's been looking for. We can remove for. it in a very fast, percussive way. I pull I... up the heart of the god. <laughs> I... No. No. <laughs> no. Put that thing away. <laughs> I can't put it away. Your chest is vibrating. Listen, if I'm gonna remove this thing, I'm probably gonna do it when I'm not wearing my armor. Okay, well, um, while I have Detect Magic on, and now that my eyes have adjusted somewhat, can I tell what the um, type of magic is? It's a... Uh, universalist. And I have looked at the bear before. Yes. The detect magic. Does it seem similar? It is nigh on identical. Right. So this thing seems to be a, a Universal. pretty it's much sort of like identical to um, the the thing in the bear. Oh. I, I I don't know if it is the thing in the bear, or that was in the bear. Did you? Did our denizens kill the bear? Can we go home? No. <laughs> that would be so. I don't think we actually saw the bear at all. You didn't. <laughs> yeah. No, <it's>, uh... <laughs> I mean, we kind of just went for the portal. Uh, we didn't really. There was these weird smoky things that grew and shrunk. They were pretty, pretty freaky. But, no bear. Um... There was a ghost. There were door slamming shirts. Oh yeah, there were loads of ghosts. There was, another, there was a ladder explosion. Completely I'm out of going it. to oh, there's a shadow hold thing from my the hand near the artifact. And see how it reacts to my presence near it. Seems fairly neutral. I'm going to touch it. Excellent. Can I get a will save? No. <laughs> um, okay, defenses. Do will. Oh, come on. <laughs> Rolled a five. <laughs> oh. 
Right, so Ahi is flooded with a wave of emotions and thoughts. Which emotions? Uh, a variety ones, of emotions, obviously. but most notably, a very strange drive to be loyal. Seth, have I ever told you I would follow you to the ends of the planet? Yes, you must <laughs> follow the, the uh, holder of it's... this item. He... All right. For he is the word of God! All right, we have two cases of a hit. Oh, I'm mankind. going to pick up Seth, Seth! <laughs> and hug it. No, no. I'll protect you. Yes. To me. Can you cure hysteria I... like this? I... I'm concerned. You. Um. <laughs> I don't expect this kind of thing. You need... Meteor, try and separate them. Meteor sort of sidles in. And uh, I'm gonna roll to see if Meteor accidentally touches the item. <laughs> I was wondering. Oh man, I'm gonna have a, my own loyal bird. Okay, so Meteor is fine. Yeah. He somehow managed to avoid the item and does sort of get between you to the point where it's difficult to keep hold of Seth. I imagine hmm. he just starts flapping his wings yeah. of like their faces. <laughs> Do you release your? Like he's not. He's not confrontationally or aggressively doing it, so it's optional to let go of Seth still. I'm going to hover away from me too. Excellent. You, the wave of feelings begins to dissipate as you fit further away from the item and you're, touch you're no longer touching it. Hmm. Seth, you're all yeah. right, but I won't follow you to the end of the planet. Okay, well, I might. That... We'll see how it goes. That sounds more like yourself. Wait a second, I'll try something. I right, edge closer again. Seem to be fine. Huh. Hey guys, try touching this thing. No. <laughs> I don't have to say no. Also, Lee, touch that. It'll only take enough touches before it just ends up exploding on someone. Also, Lee, and trying to climb up your leg to me. Right now, Seth. Huh? I mean. Oh, Arthur Lee reaches towards the shard. Can I just, like, back yes, away? Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna back away. Ozzily will turn and look at Ahi like... Look, I, I don't mean to Honestly, be the buzzkill here, but I don't want people fiddling around useless. with an artifact. In my chest! Yes! Thank you, voice in the sky! You're welcome! What? Well, there must be that... some way to use it. Why does that voice keep appearing? Where does it come from? It's in my armor. Where does it come from? It's got to do something, right? It's technically protecting you slightly. Well, yeah. Can someone try attacking Seth? See what happens? Maybe you can stab <laughs> the bear with it. Why does... Why... Chest bump the bear! Like Fucking chest bump the artifact pieces! <laughs> this, Please this is do already, that! This has already crossed my mind. Oh, How no. are you going to make them whole again? <laughs> make us all. That can only go so well. Chest bump the bear. <laughs> I'm going to knowledge engineering to try and work out what shape the uh, artifact is supposed to be. Okay, go for it. Hmm. Well, to be fair, the two pieces don't seem to make any notable coherent shape, but you've only seen half of each of them, <laughs> given that hmm. half has always been obscured. And sometimes it's quite hard to get a good look when there's a bear in the way. Okay, I'm going to posit something. What if we try and drain the power from it? It seems to have something in common with the heart, and the heart can lose power. So At you're, least saying, you're saying we should all just bump Seth? Yes. When? No. Right. I. I. Right. This wasn't wedged in my chest. I don't. I can't remember when this happened. Like I was holding this. In fact, you were holding it up until the point you merged. Yeah. Were you told what it was? No. Just that it was help. What I'm hearing I is think... that we just bumped the bear into obedience. 
I, okay. I don't even come up to the bear's knee. Why would I even do that? I say you there, guard. Or Alfarian. Do you yeah. have ballistae in this city? Are they big enough to couch a decently armoured gnome? Why do we have to right? just, like, let him fly? If we can Ooh. get the uh, authority of the Arcanists guild, I think we could just get one of the constructs to throw him. I... Construct catapulted gnome attack. Do I get any say in this? Ooh, what if we attach I mean, the you get all the say. Head. You're in charge. To his helmet. No, to none of this. I don't want to be thrown or. I don't think we can like launch we him like a missile. Make a really cool sport out of that. It would be the stupidest sport. What if we just not punt speaking them? objective, but well, subjectively here, or from any kind of bias, being a gnome. Some sort of gnome launching. That's completely ridiculous. And have you ever thought of anything like that? Wait, like what, sorry? <laughs> Some, Some kind, kind of, of gnome launch event events. of ejection or something like that. Like via some sort of construct, maybe. Hmm. Why would you need a construct when you could just use a really good kick? <laughs> anyway. Hmm, good point. <laughs> So, we kicking. still need to actually work I'm out kicking. what to do with this artifact, because as much as chest bumping the bear sounds fun, <laughs> you cannot actually get to the artifact that is inside it by chest bumping it. There is a lot of gross flesh in the way. I mean, I would say this. If you manage to chest bump the bear, it would solve a lot of your problems. Like, in that you would be dead. permanent basis. <laughs> yes, there we go. I would become the bear. <laughs> I am um, <laughs> Seth Bear? Bear two Seth? Parts of, <laughs> two pieces won't merge. Me and the bear will merge. <laughs> it's now an armoured paladin bear. Oh no. Bacula Frisk of Ultimate. Still riding his snuffles into combat. But the size of the bear. That's like a clown riding a really small bicycle, right? <laughs> yes, anyway. <laughs> Why? I mean, you said that this was similar to the one that's in the bear, right? Considering that your artifact seems to make it grow more, if these two are similar, then it might have the opposite effect. Oh no. I just drew a random card and I got plot twist. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no, what's our <laughs> plot twist? Well, the mechanical effect is I roll for a random encounter, but I'm not going to do that. I roll for you. What is it? No. Your enemy shares your goal seems exciting. But, uh. K kill all undead. I'm what just going to keep that undead? in mind. Kill Senra and the bear. How useful. Hmm. I don't think there's one that does that. No, Jarkana. Yep, go ahead. I'm wanting to, um,. Determine whether or not an artifact's power is split when the physical artifact is split, or if it remains connected to its pieces. I'm rolling garbage. I mean, you can't actually tell. I, it could be that it happens for some, it could be that it doesn't happen for others. The problem is there's just way too many conflicting pieces of stories and lore. So. Okay. So, one option is we try and remerge the artifact pieces. However, that sounds extremely tricky. Mm. At least without suppressing the bear in some way first. And considering how quickly the bear was healing, especially that healing seemed to be accelerating the more purple it got it may not be tenable without um, potentially critically endangering someone 
Wait, if these things are the same, wouldn't purple stuff grow on me? I uh, know. Are you feeling purple? Mm. His eyes are. I don't taste very purple. I mean, you've got that thing that Alpharian had. Yeah, the purple I, eyes. I think that's and just... Lelouch. With all of the stuff that's been happening with all of the corruption stuff, that doesn't necessarily surprise yeah, me. Yeah, no, we've all had it at one point or another. It's not necessarily a problem. The guard's got to shuffle up at this point and go, Ah... Uh... Is there anything to guard? Or are we meant to... Um, you might want to go looking for the two denizens that escaped into the um, city. Wait, shouldn't we do that? Oh, that's a good call. No. Yeah, okay, uh, we'll let you know we if have you have bears to deal with. Yeah, well. The guards just sort of scatter, because they've been watching sort of nervously ever since you fused with the dark evil creature, and they've been like... I have an idea. I'm going to grab a stick oh God. and poke the artifact with it. Uh, the tree starts growing uncontrolled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm thinking that this thing, yeah. while it seems to draw from the same power source, has the opposite power to the other half. That's the good. other half seems to corrupt nature. But no, this le le empowers nature. Yeah, legitimately, as well as making a joke about the uh, old stick <laughs> that made the tree grow too much, it does cause leaves to sprout on the stick. Huh. Hmm. That's quite neat. Guess we can use that to grow stuff? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> Well, it means the that the farms. nature, the nature in which this power manifests, uh, the power manifests through this artifact half, is the opposite of how it manifests in the other half. <laughs> Bring a whole other meaning but to tree hugger. But if they are the halves of the same thing, that would suggest that probably Senra is somehow corrupting it with her crazy druid hoodoo. Hmm. Who do? You do. You do. <laughs> well, well. So, uh, Alfair, it's piping up at this point. Well, why are we stopping first, her or the bear? Well, seeing as we were sent here originally for the bear, I say it'd probably be best to head off to that first. Seems kind of like the obstacle that we'd need to get past before getting to Senra. I still think that our best bet is to somehow cut off Senra's control of the bear. And the artifact, more to the point. It might be the, and the this artifact might be the key to that. Yeah, you said it Just was... having it in the vicinity might actually suppress the, um, the corrupted growth. Yeah. Well, if they turn if they turn out to be functionally opposite to each other, then uh, I guess that that would be quite useful. That sounds great. How do we use it? Uh, I think we need to find something corrupted to um, test on. Wait, who said yeah. that? It was Alfarian. Have you not met Alfarian? No, I'm just making sure it wasn't one of the random guards. No, he's. He, this is Alfarian. He's he's new collie. Remember oh, this yeah. sexy beast? Oh yes. Yes, but over yeah. whenever you talk, I don't know if it's Alfarian or some random person. I, if it's some random person, I will say that a random person has walked up to you. Okay. Oh, we could forget those guns. It also occurs to me he is m probably much older than me, given that he's a pure elf. <laughs> oh, yeah. He is. Uh, I worked this out. It's all on his character sheet. As in the virtual one, not the one on World 20. He is... Da, 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 152. Damn. Some say he's robbing the cradle. I prefer to think of it as me robbing the grave. He is I'm not very a far from death. 
Wink. Like, he's still going to live more than you will. How dare you? I fully intend on becoming a first tier immortal. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't we work out that elves and, like, sylphs and other outsiders kind of end up living around the same time? Oh, yeah, they do. They do in the long run. On average, they do, but the uh, planar races age faster. They mature faster. I'm not sure about aging faster. Their their age categories come earlier. They just have a lot of time in venerable compared to the elves. Hmm. So I get to be an old, decrepit, evil sea witch for longer. Hmm. But approximately, they have identical lifespans, which becomes a moot point if you become a first tier immortal. At which point, I'm going to turn to Alfurian and say, "The voice in my head says I'm going to speak at your funeral, punk." <laughs> anyway so what are we going to do we have options but I think we need to test we need a corrupted creature I will also point out that um, we know that corrupted creatures are going to attack um... la, 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 la. do you want oh, me to drag right. you to the map yes please We know that Corrupted Creatures were headed to attack Redorich. I... Shall we you head to Redorich? Yes. I mean, currently we have no idea where the bear is, so... Well... Staying in the same place isn't going to bring about more clues, so we, we might as well get moving. We do know how to attract its attention. We do. At the risk of revealing information that you didn't work out, you attracted its attention. How did you do that the first time you met it? Uh... The very first time, it's because we'd uh, gone into the... Um... We'd gone into the flip side and started fucking around with the uh, altar where the knife was kept originally. And that weird well thing in the cave. Oh, yeah. We asked where thinking... it was. Yeah. Well, we kind of just seemed to uh, be in the cave and it just turned up. The only thing that would really have triggered it, I'd assume, would be the well. Hmm. I mean, if we are not prepared to go to Redorich, we could um, just open a portal and see if there's something we could test on in there. <laughs> just opening up a portal in a random place? Hello, Denizens! It's not that random, it's Throw the very centre of the, uh... <laughs> well, <laughs> it's now... the very centre of the city. I feel like now knowing that most Denizens that we would normally encounter are ending actually just normal people, and don't really understand that they're... Okay. That we're both normal people, I don't um, think that would be a good idea. Just to unfortunately drag us out of character for a bit, I'm just gonna drag something on my Twitter feed onto this map. Okay. Should we be concerned? I mean, I am. As soon as it actually opens, there we go. Goodbye, Rip. Fare thee well. It's uploading. Um. No. No, thank you. Why? I don't Put know. Put that away. Put it away. Why is that on my Twitter feed? I. Why is it on the roll twenty board? It needs to Please go. Please remove. That's Matchkey's fault. Okay, this nope. makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the fuck. Matchkey and the team speak. I don't think so. No. Just like at him and Austin's just cool or something. 
Right. So, after that a little bit thing, uh, so what's your decision? And then we'll take a quick break. Right. So, options. We can go to Red Rich and try and find something corrupted there, maybe save some people, and we'll have stuff to test and mess around with um, Seth's new artifact armor. Um, or we can try and head into Flipside Attrigate and get uh, the bear's attention and just go straight at it, see what happens. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what that, uh, the alternative is we try and s work out a good method to um, uh, to cut off Senra from the bear and the artifact. If we go over to Rhetoric, we can probably discuss Senra upon and believe the... Yeah. Mm. I think it's the best bet, just because we don't exactly know what the artifact can do to other people yet, so trying to face the bear head on whilst not fully understanding what it might be able to do may be a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, are you set on that idea? Yes. Alright, then before we go... How far is it to Redorich? I mean, we can't just measure on the map. The distances are accurate. Twenty-eight miles. Uh, Twenty-eight miles. Can we go by carriage so I can sleep in the back and recharge? Yeah. Okay. So yes, I shall now fulfil a request that was made in the uh, Roll20 chat. So, I see your demands for hot elves, so uh -oh. I think I Don't have worry, exactly what... People. Oh, this is still being no, on fire and going to be. I'm no. turning elves. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. I that's approve. A, that's yeah, a big... all pretty. Yep, pretty hot. That's a, that's a big yeah, tree that's also on fire. Mariana! <laughs>